Howdy y'all, this is Jordan Smith. This is LP Weather Logic, and this is commodity grade OSB. Both of these products are used as sheathing. However, the Weather Logic has an integrated WRB or a weather resistive barrier. That means that it is a water and air barrier all in a single product. To where with the OSB, I'd have to use some other product over the top as my WRB to keep the rain from causing havoc and I'd also have to figure out some other way of taking care of air sealing with Weather Logic's integrated WRB I tape the seams and I take care of air and water one of the disadvantages that I've seen with a a fabric type or a wrap type weather resistant barrier is when a leak happens somewhere on the wall and water is able to get behind that house wrap then the water leaks all the way down the face of the OSB and there's nothing to protect the OSB after it leaks at the top. I see this a lot around window penetrations. With the weather logic, if I get a leak anywhere, it only affects that area and the rest of the WRB because it's integrated into the wood product behind, it forces the water out in front of the WRB again and I don't have damage all the way down. I much prefer this system but i wanted to see worst case scenario not even really worst case scenario because there would never be this scenario happening in real life but i wanted to submerge both of these products for 24 hours in water and then freeze them so the water if any water soaks into them once it freezes it expands and it pushes the wood fibers apart i did this 10 different times i did 10 cycles 24 hours in the water freezing 24 hours in the water freezing back and forth back and forth 10 times and the weather logic expanded 18 percent so it let some water through on the back side on all of these i used a high quality detail sealant fully waterproof nothing's getting through the back side or on the edges just on the face so it lets some water through the face but that's to be expected this isn't a underwater product it is a wall sheathing product so being underwater for 10 days isn't realistic however the osb expanded nearly twice as much we got 34 percent expansion the other thing that you see here is you see how it expanded so much it actually ripped my detail sealant apart now this detail sealant is very elastic it's very tough so it takes a lot of expansion to do that and then if i get in here i'm able to just completely delaminate this OSB apart because that water as it soaks in there it pushes these fibers apart over here on the weather logic we don't get any of that it just doesn't let in near enough water for either one of them to have that kind of expansion and separation so what's the takeaway the takeaway is don't put your house underwater so step number one step number two is when you're choosing a sheathing product think about all those things that can go wrong and if there is a leak somewhere like in a window detail i see that all the time you don't detail the windows right and you have a leak coming down that wall if you use an osb with a house wrap over the top you're putting your osb at risk because that water can run between the osb and the house wrap all the way down to where with the weather logic that water's always forced out on the front side of the WRB. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time on Smith House.